Oh, and yeah. I don't know why I just started talking about lunch. I... Oh, thank you so much. I just said thank you so much for watching. That's awkward. It's changing kind of like keep going and stuff like you just go with the flow. Um, that's a whole different video that I don't know anything about. <laughs> Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing a freshman advice video because freshman year is very scary. And I just want to take a second to mention my tangled pen. How cute is this thing? And like, oh I don't have the cap. The cap is like her hair. I love this so much. And I, yeah. Anyways, I just want to say um, I wrote down a bunch of stuff because there's a lot of things that you can learn for freshman year that I wish I would have known. Things that I already knew going into it and that really helped me because um, I watched a ton of freshman advice videos because I was terrified for my freshman year. Alright, so I have a bunch of stuff written down so I'm just going to go off my list. First thing, um, so your official first day you have orientation things like that but I'm talking about the day after which, when there's everybody and you like you officially go to your first classes and you like everything. Um, pay attention. Pay attention to the syllabus, pay attention to the teacher, and uh, things that I wish I would have known my first day, like, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was either my first or second day of high school, and my freshman year, and my science class already had, like, a big, big project that we we're all working on. Just make sure you pay attention, because, and really listen and things like that, especially for projects, it's probably going to count a lot for your grade, so. Second tip is go to orientation. Orientation is very important. I'm glad I went. Um, orientation... Um, at the end of orientation, I got, um, it's really stupid because, like, the very beginning, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't think it's a waste of time, but the beginning they do exercises so you meet new people and whatever. Um, so anyway, so there's two middle schools merging into one, so they're trying to make us, like, meet new people and whatever, and that was really dumb, and I didn't really like it. Make sure you're paying attention to where, like, people say that the classrooms are, and um, where, like, the different halls are, like, in my school, my school's pretty much there's a ton of hallways. It's pretty much all hallways. It's like the breakfast club where it's like all hallways. Yeah, that's like my school. And so, um, there's like the math, there's like two separate math hallways. There's the science wing, like hallway, hallways, and then there's like the math, you know what I mean? So you just want to pay attention to where the classes are. Sure, when they're taking around, you notice where everything is and you're kind of remembering it. It's going to be kind of tricky, but it will help you later. Trust me. Okay, so when you get your schedule and if you're un unhappy with your schedule, like if they put you in the wrong English class, say you're supposed to be in advanced freshman English, um, that's what I was in, and they put you in just regular English and you know you're supposed to be in that class, then email your counselor or if you're trying to like coordinate your schedule with your best friend or something like that or your friends um, so you have a friend in each class, email your counselor right away. Don't wait till the first day of school to go in because that's when everyone goes in and then you'll know your schedule versus going into it kind of blind and it could take up a lot of time and whatever. It's just easier for everyone if you just do it beforehand. If you're a kind of person that you, if you write, writing things down and like having lists helps you, I would recommend getting a planner. List though, like in having a planner is gonna help you definitely get one. Um, mine was really small, but what was really nice is it had the class schedule on it, but I didn't keep mine around with me because I never used it. Um, they don't force you to use it. You're very independent, so it's kind of like if you're not gonna use it, then you don't have to. So if that's something that's gonna help you, definitely get it. Get a folder dedication dedicated just to homework. Um, either either get a folder or like have a section in your binder or something like that just dedicated to homework. This is going to help you a ton. Um, I started doing, I kind of did this periodically throughout the year and that helped me a lot. So especially like the first day, I like having a folder because then it's like, okay, this is my homework folder. This is going to be dedicated all year. Um, I know like any assignments I get, they're in here and then it's not as overwhelming because it's not like, oh man, you know, like did my math teacher hand out homework and like was this supposed to be homework, was this not? Then you know. I remembered everything pretty, pretty well, but there's certain times where I completely spaced on, oh man, this is due today, like, you know what I mean, like it's due the next day and whatever, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. Alright, when you're walking in the hallway, this is very important, this might be one of the most important tips, when you're walking in the hallway, don't group up with your friends, if, especially if it's in between classes, if it's during break, whatever. Don't group up with your friends in like a giant circle in the middle of the hallway and people can't get by. That is the most frustrating thing. And please walk fast. Do not walk slow. Do not walk slow at all because walking slow, it's first of all, you might you risk being late for your class. You're making up, you might be making other people behind you late for your, their classes. And it's just very frustrating and yeah, I personally walk super fast when I'm in school. I'm like, I'm a fast walker it's just in general, but like in fact, like in school, I walk super fast to my class and 
yeah because my school is very big and so you kind of have to you're kind of forced to but usually I don't know just walk fast please please just please okay you're doing everyone else a favor you're getting your class if you get to it early then there's nothing wrong with that and grouping up in the middle of the hallway is not the way to do things either because you're blocking the hallway no one can get by it's really awkward trying to be like excuse me can I get by and just please don't just leave some room like scoot to the wall go in a different area where no one's gonna be walking yeah that is and then you're not gonna be called a freshman that was my most irritating things like especially no one like at least towards the end of the year no one really cares that you're a freshman anymore and like but the first like the first couple months it's kind of like if you do stuff it's like Ugh, freshman you know what I mean like people go by saying that freshman girls don't get as teased as badly as freshman boys and I feel like that's the truth but yes printing out a class schedule is a very good idea um I personally did not do that but I'm definitely gonna be doing it this year um that way you know what time your classes are supposed to be over when they start when your lunch starts and ends because there's a million different schedules like it's kind of crazy and like there's assembly a.m. and p.m. and then throughout the day and like whatever so just doing that like and then you know lunch starts and just knowing like the times and everything I just recommend printing out a schedule because I think it's gonna help you and there's if you end up not using it you can always take it out but you know if someone I constantly would have to ask other people like what time is lunch to get over and stuff because I didn't know so yeah don't be afraid to ask questions that is a big thing personally I'm like especially once I'm like getting really comfortable in a class I can totally ask questions but if you're having trouble with homework or something you can either email your teacher you can go in after school before school during lunch she was like no problem asking questions because if I was confused on something I'm like it's you can't be embarrassed to ask questions it's gonna be more embarrassing when your grade is failing because you're too embarrassed to ask a question like you know what I mean? Raise your hand if you need to raise your hand, and like, or if you too, if you don't feel comfortable raising your hand in front of the entire class, then maybe ask her during lunch or after school, and just, or maybe during class time, um, when your teacher gives you class time, just be like, okay, like I'm like Mrs. or Mr. Who and whatever. I really don't understand. I'm not really understanding this concept. Can you help me? Like, you know what I mean? And then they'll help you. You'll understand it, and everything will be good. So, don't be afraid to ask questions. That is just so important. Act mature, but be yourself. Um, if you're a very immature person, <laughs> I mean, obviously you're not going to know if you're immature or not. Personally, I'm a very mature person. Like, I don't act my age, and I go along with a lot of the upperclassmen really well just because I don't act like my age. So, um, this act yourself, or be yourself, but act ma more mature than you normally would. So, just don't try to hold on to your friends freshman year. Um, hold on to friendships because people grow, people change, and when they change they might not always be like, they might not fit you anymore, you know what I mean? Like they just maybe you have different interests or, you know what I mean, they're not going to be the same person that you met when you first met them. So yeah, just try not to hold on to friendships because in my case, um, I was friends with a group of people at the beginning of freshman year and now I'm not friends with that group of people anymore um, just because of different reasons and stuff. But. Um, I'm not friends with them anymore and now I have even better friendships than I had before and I've grown a lot as a person. I've changed a lot over um, the course of freshman year and yes, to meet new people um, and be open to meeting new people. I was not as open to meeting new people freshman year because I already knew so many from like my old school and um, you just have to be open to it because honestly like it's just... You just have to be open to meeting new people. Clubs, activities, sports, etc. So, um, this is very important. You can meet a lot of new people doing this. I met both of my best friends through sports. Um, they're upperclassmen and oh my gosh, like I cannot imagine my life without them now. Like, especially like, I just wish I would have met them sooner, you know what I mean? And um, you meet a lot of new people and like throughout their different classes and stuff like that. But that's just very important is joining different clubs and activities and if you're going to join I would start freshman year not necessarily for clubs and things like that but like just sports in general I would start freshman year that way you're knowing the coaches and then you can decide if you want to keep playing because it's it can be unless you're super good it is a very hard if you're to make the team because there's other people who are just now starting and whatever so I would definitely recommend starting sports and different activities your freshman year I think that's very important Another thing is, it is okay to be alone. It's okay to be by yourself sometimes and like have your own alone time. It's okay not to like always be with someone else. During tennis season, which was my last trimester, um, 
I was kind of going through some things with some of my friends and I just felt I wasn't didn't really have any friends like that's how I kind of felt and I was okay with that like I'm I was okay with like not always grouping on like always having to be two people like I be by myself I don't always need another person to like make myself feel like complete you know what I mean and that's another thing to do with like high school relationships too so yes my last tip is do not be scared okay don't be scared it's freshman year honestly and don't be scared if I was terrified because I'm like I'm not gonna know where anything is I was freaking terrified I like I did not want to go I was terrified to go to being going my freshman year but honestly you the first I was after the first two weeks I was good like I knew where everything was you know what I mean you like I knew where like all my classes were also don't worry if you get lost and things like that because you can just ask someone uh, maybe you know someone else or like maybe you know someone in the grade above you whatever and just be like hey um, do you know where this is or maybe ask someone like maybe text them or something I don't know um, but yeah I was really worried about like being scared about getting lost and things like that but you're gonna be fine um, that is my freshman advice video I hope you guys enjoyed if you want any more um, back to school like advice tips or whatever um, maybe organization or something like that then just let me know and I will do those for you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and that is the end of my video stay beautiful bye